Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number and in this tutorial we're going to cover numbers up to 5 and we're going to do subtraction. Now this is tutorial A on this subject. We will have the second one, tutorial B, will cover the question the other way around. When you see it, you'll know what I mean. Right, so first, let's have a look at the question we're going to be working through. Suppose you have this question. 4 minus something equals 1. 4 minus something equals 1. Now, how are we going to do this? There is more than one way to do this. When we were doing numbers up to 5 and addition, we used three different methods. The dot method, the number line, and the counting method. We can use the, all of those methods to do this one as well. And we're going to do that now. So let's start with the dot method. The dot method. Now firstly, let's uh, rewrite the question so that we can do some workings out. 4 minus something equals 1. 4 minus something equals 1. Now what we're going to do is, above the number 4, we're going to put 4 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's have a look at the number after equals. The number after equals is 1. So we have to have 1 once this question is complete. And what that means is that we have to show just one of those dots. So what do we have to do? We have to cross out some of these dots until there's only one left. So let's cross the dots out and count them as we do that. So let's cross the first one out. That's the first one. One. Cross out one more. Two. And cross out this one. Three. So we now got just one dot left. How many dots did we cross out? We crossed out one, two, three. That's how many dots we crossed out, and that is our answer. Four minus three equals one. It was as simple as that. You may want to watch that again just so that you fully understand it. We're now going to have a look at the number line method. Now, do you remember the number line? It is a line with numbers. It can start at any number and end at any number that we choose. So let's begin by drawing the number line. So we've got a cross here. And ours is going to start at 0. It's going to go from 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that is our number line from 0 to 5. Now let's have a look at our question again. It says here, 4 minus something equals 1. So 1 is where we have to finish. So let's put a circle around the 1. So we have to finish here, the 1. What number are we starting from? Well, the question tells us it's 4. 4 minus something equals 1. So we're starting at 4. So let's... Start from number 4 here. There we go. We've got a nice big dot there at 4. And now what we're going to do is we are going to count in jumps and get to 1. So let's do that. We've got 1 jump, 2 jumps, and 3. So we have landed on 1 after 1, 2, 3 jumps. That is the answer. It's taken 3 jumps to get from 4 to 1. And what do you notice about this number 3 here? It's the same as the number we calculated using the dot method. So, it's correct. Now, let's have a look at the final one, the counting method. Now, the counting method. Now, how does this work? Well, there's more than one way to do this. 
let's try one simple way of doing it. What we've got is we've got number four, and what we ha in the question it says four minus something equals one, so we've got qu the uh, we've got the number four. From four we have to get to one, okay. From 4, we have to get to 1 because that's what it tells us in the question. Okay? So, from 4 to 1. Now, what I want you to do is to count backwards from 4 to 1. And each time you count, I want you to hold out one finger. So, at the moment, you've got a hand and I want you to make it a fist. Let's count from 4 and we're going to count backwards. So, what comes after 4? 3. Now hold out one finger. What comes? What comes? Sorry, before four comes three. What comes before three? It is two. Now hold out your second finger. Now from two, what comes before two? It is one. Now hold out one more finger, and we've got the one that we were looking for. Okay. How many fingers are you holding out? You should be holding out three fingers. Okay. To get from four to one, you should be holding out three fingers. And the 3 here is the same as the 3 we had here. And it's the same as the 3 we had over here. And 3 is the correct answer. Now, all of these methods, the dot method, the number line, and the counting method, the principles are the same. We're going from 4 to 1. How many do we need to get from 4 to 1? The answer is 3. And that is how we do find the missing number of numbers up to 5 with subtraction using the dot method, the number line, and the counting method.